Wonderful. Well, thank you everybody for joining us here today. What an incredible event and for us all to be joining online. I'm going to now um, share a little bit of content with you. We at Salesforce and in Trailhead and in our community have um, done a lot to help support our community during this unprecedented time. And um, what I want to, um, before I get started, I do work at Salesforce where we are a publicly traded company. And I want to remind everybody of our forward looking statement to only make purchasing decisions based on publicly available products. If you have any questions, visit our website at salesforce.com slash investor. Now into um, a little bit of background on what is Salesforce in case you, you don't know. Um, Salesforce, we have our customer 360 platform, which empowers uh, customers to do incredible things, to go digital fast, to rapidly innovate, and to um, really be able to tie everything together from sales to service, marketing, commerce, et cetera. So it's been around for over 20 years, um, uh, pioneer in cloud, pioneer in subscription-based pricing. Uh, our our co-founder and CEO, Mark Benioff, is an incredible philan um, philanthropist as well. And he drives us by our values. We're a values-first ecosystem, which we are all united with trust, customer success, innovation, and equality at the core of everything that we do at Salesforce. And we're all about, I mentioned, empowering our customers and especially our community. And um, our community is called the Trailblazer community. And uh, another time I can share you stories on where that name came from, but it's really about empowering people and creating that sense of community. Now, a little bit of uh, origin story for you here as well. I, I run platform and I run Trailhead and our app exchange and in that is our community of developers and admins and people that do incredible things on our on our platform. And a few years ago, we had a problem which we said, how do we skill people up at scale? And that was really one of the um, original problem statements that um, created Trailhead, which helps us skill up um, everybody for the future. And you learn in-demand skills, you can earn resume worthy credentials and connect to incredible opportunity from mentorship to employment. And um, I also, uh, myself and the team, we also have a passion uh, for um, what Trailhead can do for our society as well um, to hopefully change the ratios in tech and build an equitable and ethical future together um, grounded in education and empowerment. And everything that we do, uh, whether it's building our products or engaging with our community, we have this thing which we call Trailheart, um, hashtag Trailheart. And it's at the center of everything we do. And it's, it's grounded in that passion for learning. And every day you wanna learn something new. Um, we've all been in just really crazy times right now where we're all having to learn and adjust. And it's important that we And acting with purpose and positivity. Everything that we do, is purposeful and we want um, everything we do to have a, a positive outcome and to be accretive to people's success and people's happiness and people's um, um, health. And that is whether it's uh, learning skills, which is helping people in their careers or whether it's helping them interact um, and, and, and go digital in times like these. And third is to remember your roots and know where you came from. Um, it's very important to us to, it's really important that, that we think of being, you know, humble and true to yourselves and, and never leaving somebody behind. So Trailheart is our little special word, which we have in Trailhead. And so what we want to share with you today is how our team uh, came together to support our community during this, you know, crazy time with COVID and the coronavirus. And it starts with very clear guidelines. Um, something so simple uh, might seem, it, it, it seems like this is something that is so um, straightforward, but it actually is so important to say when this crisis happens because people need guidelines for how to, how to act. And it was very important that we are supportive and that we connect and we stay connected and that we over communicate 
uh, with our community and that we're empathetic and that we understand um, that we maybe don't know everything about somebody's uh, situation. And we want to lead with empathy and lead with understanding and lead with caring for what people are going through right now. And always remembering um, this is a serious uh, health and economic crisis. This isn't something to be taken lightly. Um, and I'll share some of the things that we did because um, it, it is very important that you respect the gravity of the situation and that you bring people in and that you don't make uh, decisions in silos and that you are, are over communicating and you bring people together. Um, we wanted to make sure and clear in everything we did with the community that um, even when we do communicate that we're not giving health and safety advice. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. Um, but I do want to connect and share and be helpful as I can. And um, when we have products like, you know, Salesforce, we sell our products of so sales cloud, service cloud, et cetera, that I mentioned earlier. Um, this is not a time to be ambulance chasing and trying to sell ourselves. This is a time to be helpful and to, to help suggest solutions and uh, use all of our marketing um, as an opportunity to connect and build relationships. Going back to our values where trust is our, our number one value to building trust with our community. And so what did we do um, at Salesforce and Team Trailhead? Well, there's a lot, you know, it's this feels like it's been a year, but it's just been, I think, maybe 40 days in uh, the San Francisco Bay Area where we have been sheltering in place and working uh, from home. But we had to shift to virtual classes. We shifted our, our certifications. Uh, certifications is, is the when people go and they um, basically demonstrate their skills um, at a training center or a facility um, online um, that can verify identity. And, you know, some of those um, centers, you know, closed down. And so we had to figure out how to shift all of that. And our content, we shifted to creating a, a supportive content, um, helping people understand how to use Zoom, how to do virtual hangouts, how to do all of this new stuff in this new world, not just teaching people how to use Salesforce or how to use you know, GitHub or how to use Slack, but teaching people how to engage with each other and use these new tools. And tips like you know, looking at the camera versus like looking down here and, um, and, and having proper lighting. These are all things that people needed to learn. And um, looking out for people that are doing great things and supporting and amplifying those stories. We've helped over a thousand community group leaders adjust and that's because we've helped them go from this um, in-person world to the digital virtual world. Uh, our community is incredible and they have these uh, incredible community conferences which are led just by them, uh, whether it's a Midwest Dreamin or, or any of these big conferences you've heard of that the Salesforce Trailblazer community um, hosts, we're helping them adjust to um, to virtual or work with you know hotels and such to help them shift shift the the dates um, and how they have those plans. I mentioned you know content for how to use Zooms, but really creating those best practices for the community leaders to be able to conduct those virtual meetings and making ourselves available with um, with discussion groups and one-on-one -on -one time. Uh, you see here Sophia, who's uh, one of our incredible um, leaders in our community team. And she's you know always out there on social media, engaging with everyone. And it's just, um, it's again, bringing that trail heart to everything that we do. And we've encouraged the connection to not just be from us, but to be community led. Uh, there's an incredible thing that the Trailblazer community does, which is um, a Salesforce Saturdays. And that was already actually a virtual event. Stephanie Herrera and team, um, you started a few years ago. And we're seeing more of that happening, more community um, led virtual gatherings of this community, because it's not just about, you know, helping each other learn or, or understand the technology or, you know, talk about, you know, business and work. More than ever, the community is necessary to help each other and support each other and to, to be empathetic and to really be there for each other right now. And we're seeing just even the 
the, the community managers having these, you know, casual chats with each other has been just super helpful to maintaining that connection. You know, people can, you know, I, I'm a mother of two daughters. I have benefited a lot from engaging with the community and understanding some of the ways that they are dealing with, you know, child care at home. I've, I've had people share tips and tricks and, and even educational material for my, for my kids, for my five-year-old. It's been very useful for me to stay connected with the, with the community. And speaking of five-year-olds, um, we've also wanted to help spread this positivity with fun things that can engage uh, your children, for example, with these uh, weekly fun activity books for what we call our junior rangers, our young children. And you see here, um, this is an incredible share from the community of um, of um being colored in you see that's I'll, I'll go into the characters i won't go too much into them but there's ruth the elephant who she's our architect and she's big and bold and she codes with her trunk and she's incredible and hootie um mcgowl face and, and appy um cloudy uh and you see this uh, ranger book we've made available and digital for for you know you to bring children uh, in and have activities with them and um fun little um, ways to celebrate uh, people as well, whether it's pictures holding up words and of encouragement. Um, this was a lovely um, montage here of, of making uh, a sen of making all of the words, you know, appear together with people's faces. And just this regular drumbeat of positive, empathetic, caring communication that we do with our community has been so important in keeping everybody feeling connected and together during these times. And we all learn lessons that uh, we can act on. Uh, I've talked about this um, early communication and, and over communication. Here you see two uh, screenshots. Um, uh, Becky DeLoren and, and Chris Landy put these on these slides and I love these moments, um, which I did with my own team, which was, uh, you know, I'm not able to see everybody in person anymore. So I whipped out just the camera on my on my phone and I recorded a little video. Um, I also use this, this service called Zubtitle to add the subtitles um, easily um, to make the videos accessible. It took me five minutes uh, to do a video and I would send it out to my team. And people love that like communication that you get. And just asking what people need and prioritizing what matters most. Um, uh, at Salesforce, for example, I feel very fortunate to have leadership that um, that values um, um, family, which in Salesforce um, language we call that um, Ohana, and and family first is a big thing that you know Mark and and my boss Brett Taylor have encouraged. And for example, I am not taking meetings between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. to split childcare um, at home because we're a dual income family. And so prioritizing family first and, and sharing that with the community has also made them feel that they can do the same thing during these times. And so we hope that you keep learning with us. This was a little bit of a presentation, just 15 minute snapshot of what we're doing at Salesforce and in Trailhead and in the incredible Trailblazer community team. And we want to, to share a little bit with you. We have, um, what we call a trail mix, which is uh, a few little badges and, and content that are in little bite-sized snackable pieces that you can uh, learn with us. It's a very easy link there, sforce.co slash CMX global. According to Becky, this is case sensitive, so make sure it's capital CMXG. And this has that activity book we talked about. It has videos that we've shared. Uh, it has badges that you can earn to learn these skills about how to uh, how to work and, and connect during these you know crazy unprecedented times. And we've made this all available for you. And so I think that that is our 15 minutes. And now Beth is going to join us back in, and we're going to do a fun Q and A together. So let me go back over to this room here. There she is. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Sarah. I love that you created that space for our attendees. That's so awesome. Um, we do have a couple of questions that came in while you were chatting. Um, so I would love to get started. One is from, I don't know if I'm going to say this correctly, Lyrics. Um, he says, surprisingly, I started out on Salesforce today. Oh, wow. And what a coincidence. Um, and they're asking for some advice from you. 
Yeah. So uh, meaning started at Salesforce, the company or started working in Salesforce? It started out on Salesforce. So I assume on the platform. Okay. So what I would suggest is to go to trailhead.com and I would uh, just search for getting started with Salesforce. And um, there's incredible content and badges uh, like um, CRM is, I think CRM basics is a very good one. And uh, another one, which is platform basics. Those are two really good badges to start. And then I would also just share on the, um, I would, if you use Twitter, go on Twitter and just tweet and at mention uh, Trailblazer community. And I guarantee like uh, Leah or Sophia or, or Jessica or, or any member of the team will reach out and have some great tips for you as well. Nice. Sounds pretty easy to get uh, part of this community. There you go, Lyrics. Yeah. Uh, next question. <laughs> uh, Salesforce has been very proactive through the crisis. How did you organize and communicate support across the company? Yeah, so Salesforce have been very active and the company has done incredible things, not just for our employees, but also for the world with um, uh, uh, equipment being delivered around the world globally um, through philanthropic efforts of giving to um, small businesses um, and to nonprofit organizations. And a lot of that started that orchestration was because we were able to stay connected and we did some things which sound very simple, but have weekly all hands, have daily emails, have a command center, have um, which is data driven of using our Tableau product. And so you can see on a regional level how everything's impacted. And then also um, the company brought in experts that, that can help us that we've, um, you know, whether it's David Agus or, 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 or Larry Billion or others. And uh, that's actually been something that um, Mark and our leadership team has made available now to our, to publicly, uh, to our customers, which has been incredible that this, uh, the, the resources that are available internally are also external, but it all starts with communication. Uh, and, and, and it's, it can be as simple as an email. Um, and as we've also done really in interesting things with our all hands like we all went to the movies together virtually like we did a movie <laughs> screening it was very very fun so thinking of new ideas as well so those are some of the things that we've done here at salesforce that's awesome i have loved looking on the internet and seeing all of the creative ways people are getting together right now i think it's it's so cool and just shows people's resilience and Yes, I'll stay at home, but watch me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Cool. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. I know I can speak for all of our attendees. That was wonderful, uh, super engaging, and, and very inspiring. So thank you so yeah. much for joining thank us. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.